All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Summer is upon us, and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw-crafted bags, I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. Life ain't always pretty, but hey, it's pretty beautiful thing. Laugh a little more thing. Tight, tighten up your core thing. Said EK, you're kicking it with four things. With Amy Brown. Happy Thursday, four things. Amy here. And I'm going to start off with four things gratitude because, well, it's going to relate to the episode and the four things that I'm going to talk about. And four things that I am currently thankful for right now would be cold plunges, cod liver oil, Wim Hof (laughs) breathing, and eating organs, which I never thought I would say that, especially that fourth thing there, even cod liver oil, because I've been sipping on that lately. But all of this is thanks to my friend Jeremiah Carter, who has come on the podcast before, but he's also brought these four things into my life. (laughs) And uh, yeah, thank you. So he's going to talk about them with me and I can just speak to my experience, but you have a little bit more of the benefit side of things and especially being a trainer yourself and knowing what's happening with the body. And for me, cryotherapy is something I did for three years and that's going into a box where you have freezing cold air. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And so (laughs) that was painful enough, but Mm -hmm. there is something that is just so crazy about putting your entire body into freezing cold water. And I've taken cold showers. Mm -hmm, So mm -hmm. I know that I feel good after stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I kept seeing people on Instagram posting about cold plunges. And I think, I don't know how they're doing that. That's so crazy. But then I would go get in a box like negative 220 (laughs) degrees or something. And I would always emerge from cryotherapy feeling great, but I was still terrified of a cold plunge. Yeah, yeah. And so that's gonna be the first thing that we're talking about. This will be an OG style episode. First thing, cold plunges, and then we'll move on to the other three things. First thing, that's right. Yeah. You are someone that I'm sure as an athlete did the ice bath things. You and your brother rigged some Yeti cooler situation <laughs> to where y'all have a cold plunge. And then I have a pool in my backyard and that's how I've been cold plunging because it's winter. Sometimes early, early in the morning before I go to work and it feels so good. But cryotherapy always felt good. Like I could go yeah. into the cryotherapy box feeling one way and three minutes later emerge and my mood has shifted, you know, endorphins are mm-hmm. <laughs> flowing. Have you seen uh, Legally Blonde? 
Mm-hmm. You know, which talks about exercising releases yeah, yeah, endorphins yeah. and endorphins make people happy and happy people don't kill their husbands. <laughs> Such a good movie. <laughs> That's <yeah>. me. <laughs> like I will emerge from there and I'm not going to, you know, hurt anybody. So now I feel that way about cold plunge. <laughs> like I can't wait to go get in the water and emerge and just feel so amazing. Yeah. And it's weird how it gives you energy, but at the same time, I could still do it at night and mm-hmm, then sleep mm-hmm. well. Yeah, I've used it that way in a big way. I found... You know, a lot of people like the technique of, for one example, reading or journaling, writing, if their mind is racing at night. And for me, I needed something to like almost cut me off, to distract me, to enter into something else. And cold plunge was that in a big way for me, almost to immediately step into a survival mode. And then once I was able to get out, my body was releasing those endorphins and I was really able to relax. And my mind was in a much different place than it was before. So I've felt that directly. And I feel a big reason, obviously social media, but I think it's a big reason cold plunges and, you know, cryotherapy, cold treatments, all this stuff has gained such popularity lately. I mean, it's been around for a long, long time, much longer than people have been speaking about it or buying things to put in their garage. And now I think we're in an age where people want to do, and I think it's part of our DNA, we want to do hard things. We desire to face challenges. And I think that even if it's just a small three, five, seven, ten minute thing in a cold tub, there's something really and and with water, I think that's where I would say over over the air in a cryo situation, cryo's got great benefits. I'm just saying I think there's something human about having something tangible, visceral, you know, the water's touching your body, it's moving around you, and you have to deal with that. It's almost a reminder that you're human, you know, and how fragile you are. And then obviously being able to get through that challenge, to conquer that challenge. I would say two things that people can take away that I like to focus on at least. You can get in the weeds and there are so many interesting things in the weeds. But for me, I would talk about blood flow and I'll talk about oxygen. And that's related to blood flow. But your heart's a muscle. It's pumping blood constantly throughout the day. That thing stops. You're in trouble, right? But we forget about when you breathe and you take in oxygen Your heart is immediately putting that oxygen into the blood and it's taking it out into your body. It's delivering lots of nutrients all around your body, all the way down from your toes to the top of your head. Vitamins, minerals are are enacting things like this and things are being repaired. Things are being taken care of. Oxygen is being delivered so that your body from every little thing, your pinky toe, that it stays alive. And so when you get into something cold, you have a response that is fight or flight, which is, to make it simple, your body's going to prioritize certain organs. So your blood's going to leave your limbs, and it's going to head towards your core, towards your heart, towards your vital organs, and it's going to protect your brain as well. And so then once you come out of that, your body's then going to full of nutrient blood, and it's come into the core in a much quicker way because you've basically pricked it, you know, and it's got a response. It's come into your core, picked up all this stuff. You come out and then boom, all this blood is rushing back out into your body to warm up those limbs to be, okay, we can, we can protect those things now. But it became a situation where it was like, we've got to protect the core first. You well, said you saw Donald Miller do a whole post from his poll yeah, the other that. day yeah. where, which he's come on the podcast before. And one of the biggest takeaways I got from him was what does this make possible hmm. when life throws you curveballs? You recognize it, you sit with it, you don't ignore it, but you ask yourself in it, okay, this sucks. And what does it make Mm. possible? So love that. Love Donald. So he was from his pool saying like he's been doing it the whole month of January or he did it the whole month of January something and he saw some benefits. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to play a clip of that. Today is day 21 of a cold plunge challenge. Pool is 39, I think. Been in about three minutes now. Feet are starting to sting, but the benefits are coming. Apparently dopamine is increased, your energy goes up, your mood goes up, all sorts of anecdotal stuff that I won't get into because I'm not a doctor. Folks who talk about this, Joe Rogan has talked about it extensively. There's a guy named Andrew Huberman who talks about it. You really want to do it apparently between 50 and 55 degrees. There's no big benefit to going any lower than that. You want to stay in the pool for at least 11 minutes a week. And I found a lot of things. Of all that little health trends that I've tried to do, this is by far the most effective. I feel feel good about three or four minutes after I get out of the pool for the entire rest of the day. I have more energy. 
I'm gonna do cold plunges, I'm convinced, for the rest of my life. You can also do it with cold showers, but I found taking a cold shower was harder than going out in zero degree weather and jumping in the swimming pool, believe it or not. I highly recommend it. Not everybody has access to it, so maybe you start with a cold shower and in the winter months, the water can get pretty cold. I feel like three minutes in the shower, sometimes I'll feel like I've been in there three and sure. then I get out and I'm like, oh, that was only a minute and a half. So sure. it may seem silly to set a timer, but even when we're out in the pool, we set a three minute timer. So same thing in your shower and see if you feel any benefits from that. Second thing. All right, on to cod liver oil, which disclaimer, I've only been taking it a few days now, but I know your friends have been taking it for a while. You went over to their house. They had it. They were talking all about it. And I know you were intrigued, especially because it said liver, you like anything with liver, which why is that? I had had some eczema on my scalp that occurred after college and I couldn't figure it out. And it was an issue, come and go, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I stumbled on a guy named Paul Saladino who talks about um, the benefits of meat, organs, liver, all these bioavailable nutrients, which just means that you have nutrients that you're taking in through whole foods that actually are being turned into what they should be turned into and how they should be turned into that in your body, as opposed to like taking a supplement like a vitamin that's a pill that sometimes maybe it has 100% of your daily value of whatever, but your body only takes in 5% of it or 10% of it, you pass the rest. It has a hard time getting it into your system. But when you eat whole foods, the nutrients are in there. And so his emphasis on liver really interested me as we were, I was speaking with my buddy's wife, who she's also a medical doctor and Paul Saladino is a doctor. She as a medical doctor is pregnant with her second child. She's started to really feel benefits in her pregnancy, even with eating a lot of red, red meats. And she started talking about the benefits of cod liver oil and how they've started taking it for plenty of reasons. I mean, fish oil in general, and people have known of, but cod liver oil is a, a more specific way to take it. It just has higher nutrients such as A and D, I think E. You've got some of these nutrients that are good for your people know about like biotin, but skin, nails, hair, cartilage, soft tissue, stuff like that. So yeah, I was in. I said, yeah, tell me more about this. And Liver is, is a very unsavory thing to eat, but you don't need much each day. So then also on top of that, to have the cod liver little supplement, that was plain and simple for me. I, I thought that was a great little thing to try. And it was Whole Foods brand, right? Like 365 yeah, 365 has a yeah. cod liver oil with a hint of lemon. Mm -hmm. And obviously you can get like more and more expensive. Obviously it's better. The better you get the wild caught stuff. This one was nice. We're getting wild caught, but like it can get pretty expensive. But my point being for those of you who'd be interested in trying, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Yeah. It's pretty manageable. You get a 32 ounce bottle for 30 bucks, I think. Yeah. Just yeah. a teaspoon a day. A teaspoon a day. Helps the medicine go down. <laughs> oh no, that's a spoonful of sugar. Uh, helps the medicine go down. Here we go. Okay, so one day you were laying down and then all of a sudden you just started doing this really awkward, deep breathing thing <laughs> <laughs> on the couch. I didn't know it was awkward. I felt pretty zenned out. No, no, no. It just, it was awkward at first. <laughs> but I'm then teasing, I'm you teasing. said it's a Wim Hof breathing, it's a technique. I will say it did totally zen me out. Yeah. I dialed all in. I mean, I think that's what you have to do. You just have to like commit to doing the process and I was so relaxed, so much so that I need to do it more. With just 30 breaths, I don't think we moved for what, 15, 20 minutes. She was like, I feel so relaxed. It's like my body's just been given all this oxygen that it needs all over the places that it needs it. I've now relaxed, no stress. It's very interesting. Give an example of the breath and what it's like. You don't want like a stress breath, like you're you've just stepped into cold water and that's part of the cold therapy back to that is learning to control your breath in it you're not stress breathing you just found you found your calm so it is a calm but it's a work and you and you're just going big breath as quickly as you can and an exhale but you're not doing a count you're not doing a three in five out but it is rhythmic in through the mouth out through the mouth that's part of it you can do in through the nose out through the mouth but part of it is, especially with, I think, a 30 count with what, you know, again, this is pulling from multiple people is 
you get air in much faster if you go straight through your mouth. So like runners, when I was running or training in soccer, a lot of times you try to go through training as long as you could just using your nose because it's such limiting, uh, limited oxygen. Once you open your mouth, you're breathing as efficiently as you possibly can. And that's what you're trying to do here is just get tons of oxygen in, all of that out, do it again. Full in, full out, full in, full out, but not like, hold your breath. Yeah, it's fast. None of that. Yeah, it's faster. And so the count of 30, explain how someone might do that. So they lay down and they do the yeah. inhale, exhale, really, yeah. you know, intentionally, intentionally. and fast. Yeah. So is it they just do it 30 times? Mm-hmm. 30 breaths. I get to 30 breaths. And sometimes you're going to find that I, I, you get there and you're like, I want to go to 40, 50, maybe 60. And, and you just enjoy it. But the point is, I, during my breathing, I try to find a place with all my body. A lot of times it's great for me going to sleep. A lot of times I'll even fall asleep really quickly after I do it, you know, within 60 seconds. But you, you get your body in a place where you won't move it. So get your feet the way you want. Find out. You start to feel your whole body as you're breathing. Feel your whole body. Feel your hands. Feel your head. Feel the weight of stuff. Feel where maybe there's pain. You can even think about that spot of pain while you're breathing, but still keep your count going. Once you get to 30, the point is you flex everything, clench your fist, flex all your muscles, hold it for a two, three count, blow it all out, and then just relax. And again, not trying to hold your breath, not trying to set a record. When your body needs a breath, though, you let it have it. Yeah. And don't do, it's not 30, like inhale, exhale, one, two. It's like every inhale is one. Yeah. So you're going to do, because sometimes I'll be like, one, two, you yeah, know, yeah, but that's yeah. actually just yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, you've got one round of inhale, exhale, one. Yeah, inhale, yeah, yeah. Exhale, two. yeah, yeah, just to get that clear. And yeah, the, <laughs> the clenching your body tight, 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 and then releasing. The majority of us, as we're doing normal daily routine life, we forget to breathe. And you can go through, mo- you, you, you're living, so you're taking in breaths, but you're not breathing the way you should be breathing. And oxygen is not coming in the way it should be. And so you're getting stressed you're getting condensed. And when you take even a moment, I've done it in plenty of days, take a moment, two, three breaths. That's all you need just to read. You're like, oh, wow. I feel so much more relaxed now. I also feel more focused and ready to do what I need to do. I don't feel uptight. My shoulders are relaxed now. My body's relaxed. Like, Whoa. All I needed to do was breathe, you know? Yeah. Breath work is huge. Sometimes, sometimes my kids even, they know. I mean, my son knows he's done breath work in different therapies. And sometimes he'll yeah. look at me and say, mom, do you need to go breathe? Mm, yeah. <laughs> but this, he knows. this, he, he knows. this specific type of breathing, this like intense inhale and intense exhale 30 times in a row, I will say it relaxed me like no other. So, so much so I think I'm gonna probably do it tonight. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or fine leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you 
all of the ways. Therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have my back pocket for when I need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. I don't want to waste my time taking vitamins that aren't really going to do much for me. Like I want research. I want to know like, hey, this is actually doing something for my body. And Ritual knows this. That's why they conducted the research. They've done clinical trials on their Essential for Women 18 Plus multivitamin. The results, well, it increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. And as a woman, I want healthy vitamin D levels and omega-3 levels. And all I got to do is take my Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin every morning. I take them on an empty stomach, but sometimes if I forget, I may take them in the afternoon. It's really up to you when you want to take them. There's nine key nutrients in two delayed release capsules. And what the delay release capsules does for us is it optimizes our body's absorption of these nutrients. It's gentle on the empty stomach. Like I said, I can take it first thing in the morning and I'm totally fine. And with a minty essence in every bottle, it actually makes taking your vitamins enjoyable. No more shady business. Ritual is essential for women. 18 plus is a multivitamin that you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash four things. Start ritual or add essential for women. 18 plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash four things for 25% off. Okay, so we were at Whole Foods the other day, and in the freezer section, there was this meat. We were, there was like beef, bison, venison packaged up, and it's a company called Force of Nature. And I thought, okay, yeah, we'll grab some venison, whatever. And then you look at the package, and it says venison mixed with heart and liver. So it's organs. <laughs> The called, ancestral blend. Yes, yeah. yes, the yeah. ancestral blend. And they had, yeah, the bison option of that and the beef, whatever. I was scared to eat it, but it was so good. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, okay, I'm doing something good for my body because it's getting all these vitamins in like a tiny amount of liver. It's not mm -hmm. like there's a ton in there. I will say it was a, a unique taste -ish. Yeah, you definitely taste it. You taste the liver. It tastes different, yeah. But it's not overwhelming. Mm -mm. My mom would always eat liver from like mm -hmm. Luby's or something. Mm -hmm. And I was always so grossed out. Or sure. um, liver pate, I've never been into that. What is that? Raw gras? I don't, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, thinking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so never interested me at all whatsoever, but I have been reading more about the benefits of liver. And so I appreciate the fact that there are companies out there such as that brand we bought, whatever, Force yeah. of Nature, that they've made it super convenient. And Super they've, convenient. Yeah. you know, ground up everything together so yeah. that you can make a hamburger out of it mm -hmm. or grind, do ground meat and throw it over some rice or something. Mm -hmm. Why are you into eating organs? I know you touched on it a little bit with the cod liver oil, but I honestly don't think I would have ever bought that unless you were there and said, oh, this is good. And now I'm all in. I'm sold. And I like that it's, it's a convenient way to get this nutrients that our body needs. But how did you first learn about it? I guess to bring it full circle, Paul Saladino is the guy that, gosh, how did I even discover him first? Maybe when I was doing a job in California, I think because you could find some of his products out there. Oh, another friend of mine shared one of his podcasts, actually. That's part of what it was. But anyways, with the eczema, I had started struggling with a little bit on my scalp. I had been to dermatologists and I had been to see doctors and I'd say, you know, when I had my yearly physical or et cetera. I say, you know, I'm dealing with this thing. It's kind of new. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I don't know why my scalp is getting eczema on it. And everybody had their little used coconut oil. It's getting too dry. You know, it's too oily. You need to use this kind of shampoo. Okay, well, you need to take this kind of medicine or this use this kind of et cetera, the doctor would say, or that's not related to food or that's not. No one could really figure it out, and it never, it never changed it. And so then with Paul, he actually was a doctor who family, you know, genes had 
eczema as an issue on certain joints, as if I remember correctly, elbows, wrists, stuff like that. So I thought, okay, he went on this journey of being a vegan. He was having a lot of issues over a number of years. And this is a medical doctor, you got to remember. So he started studying all this stuff around nutrition and decided he was going to try a carnivore diet. When he went down the carnivore diet, he then evolved it. There's much more to say there. Seed oil is really bad. He started to discover these basically binders in, in vegetables and stuff like that that can re- create situations in your body where it doesn't absorb certain nutrients. So he was like, look, red meat, organs, liver, all this stuff, head to tail of an animal, the way a lot of these different cultures around the world have done it. And look, they, they're healthy. <laughs> And we're not. Maybe we should pay attention. So then he started looking into fruit, raw honey. So this was my journey. And during this, I started to notice, I was like, I'm very specific with what I eat. Why now? But as I started going down this road with some of the things that Paul recommended, again, one of the biggest parts is liver because there's so many bioavailable vitamins and minerals in liver that my eczema started to fade away. And I thought, wow, this guy's onto something. I started doing raw dairy, cheeses, milks, Uh, the kefir that we looked at, yeah, or we tried here, all that stuff. And if I've seen major benefit, so that's where it all kind of, my journey was around the eczema thing. And um, yeah, I've noticed more than that. Force of Nature, the brand of the meat that we got, they have a blog on their website. I'll link it in the show notes, but it's called Eat Like a Wolf, Why You Should Eat More Organs. (laughs) And then my first response, I was like, well, but I'm not a wolf. (laughs) So why would I? want to eat like one, but they do go into more details of why you should eat organ meat and why it's the most nutritious part of any animal and all the different vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12, B3, like how much broccoli you would have to eat Mm -hmm. in order to get all of that in just like a tiny piece of the organ meat versus like half a pound of broccoli. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I'll send you the podcast as well. But this other doctor who's with her second child, my buddy's wife, she was speaking about the huge iron deficiency that is all over, right? People are taking so many nutrient or, or supplements for iron, especially women oftentimes. And she was talking about how it's so fascinating that actually you need certain other things. I think it was copper that help you absorb the iron in the way you're supposed to. And the only way you get those together is when you do consume a red meat. And where are those found? It's found in grass, but the cow's eaten it. It's now distributed it into its body. So it makes it available to you. So many interesting things like that. I think raw dairy is a, a huge one for me as well with the eczema, but also the other. Well, that's a whole nother yeah. podcast because it's not really legal. So. <laughs> In this state, you can't have your animals, but you can buy into a cow. It is legal. It's just not on grocery store shelves yet. Does California sell raw yeah. Yeah. dairy? Okay, uh-huh. just not in Tennessee. Not in Tennessee Unless you yeah. buy into a cow. Yeah, you can buy into a cow and they can deliver gallons of raw dairy to you. It tastes delicious. You won't notice anything different. I have been buying the raw, sharp cheddar. Yeah, it's very nice. Cheese, and it's so good. Yeah. No, I'm all about very it. good. Okay, well, there you go. Cold plunges, cod liver oil, Wim Hof breathing, and eating organs. So delicious. <laughs> Four things that I'm thankful for right now, I oh, think. Oh, eggs. Definitely eggs. Eggs what? Pasture-raised eggs. That's like very, very good. People can get scared by all this language around organs and meat, but I just wanted to say with the, like, the fats, the nutrients, like an egg and an egg yolk are unbelievably beneficial for you, and it's usually much easier for people to find. Oh, yeah, Yeah. over a liver. But there are a lot of whole foods around. So I think the force of nature and also on their website, you can, Mm. I think you can order it online Mm. and maybe they'll ship it to you. So if you want to order some ancestral blend. So good. Go for it. So good. All right. Thanks, Jeremiah. Ciao, ciao. All right. This sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, 
this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you, and how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com. 